change of stagnation. It's been approximately, I think, what, seven, going into eight days now. Um, because I've been preparing. I've been taking my time. I've been doing some studying, some research. Because I want to make sure when I give you guys information, it's accurate. So, without further ado, I'm going to give you guys five reasons why the Samsung Galaxy S24, there I said it, Samsung Galaxy S24 destroys the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This is the black titanium. This is the um, Onyx, Onyx Black. So the name of this color from Samsung is Onyx, O-N-Y-X, correct me if I'm wrong. The side kind of look a bit uh, purplish. You know, when these people say something black, I don't know what they mean by it. It's like almost when Apple used to say black when it's really like dark gray. But this time, the black titanium is a bit actually darker. Like if I see it in person, it does look a bit black. But without further ado, uh, let, me, let me just get this clear. I'm just get this out of here. I still prefer iPhones based on the iOS, the operating system, security, privacy, cameras, you name it. There is a multitude of things that iPhones are just objectively better than Android or Samsung, so to speak, overall, in terms of like, you know, usability and simplicity in use. So that's why a lot of people love Apple. A lot of people sometimes kind of like say, yo, people jumping on Apple's peeny wally, <laughs> right? Um, saying that, oh, this, that, and the third, that Apple doing this. Apple really not doing anything. Apple, Apple doing what every business owner or any business at all wants to do or dreaming of doing and is selling product and having some of the most loyal, property supporters of the product because Apple make great hardware. They make very good hardware. Super good hardware. Too good hardware. And those are some of the issues that I actually have with Apple when it comes on to not just the hardware. We love the hardware or whatever. You know, it's not even, even jump into software because if you compare a Apple device, say you compare this iPhone with just a simple Samsung Galaxy S24. If you look at um, convenience, simplicity to a certain extent, this is so much better than this. And people, this right here, iPhone 16 Pro Max, I have an eSIM, so you only use eSIM in America, but my SIM card is basically in this phone, and I'm telling you, this is so much better than this, 90% of the time. Um, we're going to make some comparison with the sizes. As I can see, the 16 Pro Max destroyed the S24. And this is not the fairest comparison because I, I do not have the Galaxy S24 Ultra or 25 Ultra or the ones in the future. I haven't got those as yet. So I have to work with what I have so far. And by the way, if you're new here, consider subscribing. What if I don't even consider you're subscribing to the most accurate and informational and entertaining tech channel they can find on YouTube right now? You dig know what I'm saying? That will keep stuff a book, we we'll keep things real, we we'll keep shit real around here. And we really give you know, giving you guys my um vocabulary short and my knowledge and what I know about tech because I love tech products and there's a lot of stuff that I've been. I use these phones a lot, first and foremost. I literally, these are my two main drivers. I cannot have an iPhone without a Samsung. And we're going to get into that later on in the video. You're going to see why, no matter how much I love iPhones, I just can't do without a Samsung. Or maybe one of the best Android phones out there. No matter what, because Google picks, I'm coming, don't get me wrong. Because there's so much stuff Android does that's way better than iPhones. And we're going to jump into reason number one. So we'll flip the phone over, right? So obviously you flip both of them over. We're going to compare the screen differences. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, some tech head down there, comment down below. Um, I know the iPhone 16 Pro Max will have a 6.9 inch display now, Super Retina XDR display. Yeah, in other words, OLED, OLED display. And the Samsung on the other hand, as you can see, the wallpaper moving, that's something already that's destroying the iPhone. But we'll get in there, we'll get in there, no rush. 
But anyways, it, this should be a 6.1 or 6.3 um, Super AMOLED display and it actually has sharper pixel than the 16 Pro Max in terms of like how you look at the icons or watching a video just then on the third. So yeah, there you go. And the size differences as I can see, the iPhone 16 Pro Max dwarfs um, the Samsung Galaxy S24. You want to go and then look at the back, the camera layout, you got the ultra wide. This is the new ultra wide camera. By the way, we have a new video coming soon. We're going to test out the, um, the iPhone 16 Pro Max. We're going to do a whole camera review. But anyways, this is a, a ultra wide. Then we got the main um, 48 megapixels. So both of these are um, 40 megapixels. So the ultra wide, um, 48 megapixel. And when you shoot, it naturally comp compresses the photo down to 24 megapixel. Um, we got the main camera, which is 48 megapixel as well. This is this is the new Fusion camera I'm talking about. And then you got the optical um, 12 megapixel five times zoom lens on this side right here. Now for the Samsung Galaxy, I know for a fact this is the you know as I can see my little nice beautiful Galaxy fell the other day and cracked the ultra wide camera then i got the main um sensor right here which is uh very good bro i'm telling you samsung takes some of the best photos regardless of samsung phone you have they just have some of the best photos in the game and we got the three times zoom and this zoom can go up to i think 30 times iphones 25 times but yeah in terms of like built the samsung is made out of aluminum aluminum frame wrap all the way around and the back is almost like similar to the back of the iphone 16 pro max i almost like feel a bit frosted like it almost feels like like satin like hard satin that's what it feels like it feels very good though and the phone is so light and it's so nice bro. you know what i mean a nice fingerprint right here and uh the iphone 16 pro max on the other end is made more of like a premium more of a premium material which is titanium, it made up a titanium build. All the way around, I'm trying to focus on it, focus on bumble black camera, piece of crap. Anyway, my white combination, I'm trying to focus this crap. But anyways, titanium built all the way around, and we got the frosted glass on the back. So you get that nice satin feeling as well. It's very nice, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is probably the best iPhone I ever hold in my hands, and I'm not exaggerating. I like it because the way um, Apple like, go about doing the titanium, they have like a more brushed titanium. So they have like a sticky, grippy feel to it, which I really love. Because I hold my phone like this while I'm using it, like literally. And it feels really good. It feels really good. I'm not going to lie. And also, in addition, coming into the camera testing soon, a lot of people have so much negativity to talk about the camera control. I fucking love the camera control button that Apple added. I'm gonna um, make sure you subscribe and look forward for that camera review for the 16 Pro Max. Because I'm gonna delve into the camera control button because I'm telling you, I'm loving that button. But I know you guys click on the video to not me yap, not to hear me yappa yappa yappa. But actually gives you, I actually give you the five reason why I think. The Samsung Galaxy S24, come up with Samsung, destroys the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, let's turn this one around once again. So the first thing we're going to look at, first thing, not my bank yet. <laughs> my Jesus, the first thing we're going to look at, the display. The display tab nation. Now, look at this, man. Like, Apple. You know what I mean? Like, Apple. It's like, this is one of my biggest complaints, personally. Samsung kind of just make you have some fun. I don't know everybody like a boring, nonchalant life. People like to have fun. We work hard. We like to play hard. The fact that you can, like, this video was literally taken by me, by the way, people. And I was able to basically crop the video, cut it down a little bit, and create a wallpaper. Samsung allows me to create a wallpaper where it actually moves on the front of the screen. So we're going to call this category, um, what you can call this one? Creativity. 
creativities. Like, um, Samsung destroys Apple when it comes out to like creativity, like having some fun, just being a bit light, not, not being too boring. The fact that you have a, a display that fucking you open your phone and that shit moving, bro. Like, come on, people watching this right now, you're telling me you don't look, you don't like this. You are telling me say this is no cool versus this piece of crap right here. And the reason why I have just a simple wallpaper is because if I put something that's moving, I'm gonna give for example. I'm going to sit one while we speak right now. If, I, For example, I try to put um, one that moves, right? Let's go, go over here and create something that moves. So, let's see. Let me see if they have anything. I see it's so hard to even find something that actually moves. Like, because Apple doesn't really have any, like, those type of wallpaper. Samsung are, like, the king when it come on to, like, you know, live wallpapers. Hey, fuck it. I'm not even going to try and do it there. That shit, it just doesn't work on an iPhone. It just don't. You know what I mean? So, in terms of creativity and having fun, that's the number one thing Samsung have over iPhones. Specifically, the iPhone 16 Pro Max. No, let's go ahead and open up the phones. I sometimes prefer the, the um, some, I sometimes do prefer the, the fingerprint unlock because sometimes it feels more convenient because I'm behind the camera and because I'm behind the camera every time you see me lift the iPhone like this I have to open it with my eyes or my face basically with the Samsung I can just stay from behind the camera and open it like that so that's something if you want to personally see for yourself as well and say Yo, oh shit that's probably better than the iPhone too if you think about convenience the second thing that Samsung has and when I say has over the 16 Pro Max and this try the 16 Pro Max, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Say I wanna watch a video on YouTube, you know what I mean? You know, let's go on one of my videos, for example. You know what I mean? So go to your videos, uh confirm it's me, blah blah blah. I don't wanna go on the TV, fuck that, your videos, and say I wanna watch uh Chargers or whatever. Jesus. Watching a video on YouTube, for example, I'm turning it so while I'm watching that video, I'm like, oh shit, god damn, I have to go 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 do something for whatever reason. I don't know what else I want to do, but I just need to go on the map for some reason because I need to head somewhere. Bro, simple like this. I go towards here and I flip the app. Multitasking. Multitasking tabulation. The Samsung destroy while I'm playing my video, right? Say I want to go, let me put it in Miami for example. Say I want to go to Miami. Miami while I'm watching the video. Hold on, let's get it done. Turn in Miami, Miami. Say I want to go to Miami, International Airport. I'm literally going to the airport and watching my video at the same time. Apple, what the fuck is this? Apple, tell me. What is this, Apple? You're telling me 2024. 2024, Apple. And I only get this. I only get this. This is why I can't multitask it. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna give you an example of what Apple calls multitasking. And by the way, Samsung does that as well. Samsung doesn't only multitask, but it does the same bullshit that Apple says they do or claims that they do. So I'm gonna this bullshit video. Well, open to video ask for subscribe, like it, you know what I'm saying? See, I'm in messages, for example. I'm in messages or say I go to Uber, for example. Right? And I want to flick through the apps then. Mind you, it's not bad. It's very fast. But Apple, this is not... Let me show you. Apple, this is not multitasking. This is what Apple calls multitasking. I call it quick view or fast view, if you don't mind. You know what I mean? It does move. It's very fast, you know, to switch between, you know what I mean, different pages, different um, apps. It's very fast, fluid, because Apple ecosystem and the iOS system, the software and everything very fast. But who needs this bullshit? Like who needs this bullshit? Who needs this bullshit? Well I can't fucking simple bro say so I wanna say alright I wanna go straight to my app to my maps. Alright then I don't wanna watch any more video. But no for example say I wanna use the map right split screen and I wanna listen to some fucking music bro. I wanna listen to some music why not? I want to listen to music while I'm traveling. And I want to see what's on the screen at the same time. I play me some fucking music. Like, tap your shan. And not just that, you can't fucking switch it. 
Simple. Tabulation. That's um that's number two of what Samsung Galaxy S24 destroyed the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Objectively. I'm gonna give you something even more though. So say for example, I'm in the camera um the, the, the maps app, right? I'm in the maps app, I think it's gonna be the 30. This is what you call convenience. I, I beg Apple, Apple, please bring this feature in. I beg of you, Apple, right? Say I just want to just exit out of the maps, but I still want to see where I'm going to. I simply just do this, and it remains on the screen, Tabnation. It remains on the screen. I literally can see where I'm going while, for example, I'm on WhatsApp. I'm on my bank of Chase, right? I'm on Spotify. And I can still see where I'm going. No, Apple, what the fuck is this? Apple. Say, so I want to do this shit, right? I want to go to Miami as well. So we're going to Miami tonight. Miami is the, is the, is the um, location for tonight. Pick the location. They send this shit up into the stupid ass um, island right here. Don't get me wrong. I love the dynamic island. But who the fuck want to see an island, bro? While they're traveling with this little piece of crap arrow right here. When they can literally see the map right here on your screen and you can minimize it you don't have to make it that big you can make it smaller you exit out of it and just like that tabulation just like that that's objectively destroying the iphone 16 pro max well, i don't know why because nowadays people enjoy convenience i know what i'm giving you my personal take on it i love convenience i love i love things to make i spend money on these type of things a lot right because i love technology I love where technology is going. I like things that's just uppity. I like things that improve my life. All right, while I'm improving, I like things around me that improve my life, basically what I'm saying. So I like the best of the best. I like the best phones, the best this, that, and the third, right? I'm drinking some coffee. I've been drinking some coffee all night. By the way, I have to some ice coffee. But anyways, so, um, Samsung already defeating iPhone in terms of having some fun, as I showed it before. You know what I mean? Live wallpaper, you know what I mean? Or video wallpaper. You can move that shit, watch that shit. So, so fucking cool. And it's beating Apple in terms of like convenience and usability. We can call it both convenience and usability. And you remember the thing I was telling you about earlier about the app switcher or quick view? So, for example, I'm in Lyft. Apple does the same thing, or Samsung does the same thing that Apple does. Plus, you get multitasking. So not only they have Apple bullshit feature, you also can multitask, which is crazy. The fact that this Samsung Galaxy S24 can do this over the iPhone 16 Pro Max, I would personally bet my money and also give advice to people to actually pick the samsung galaxy s24 there's not even the ultra i didn't even say the ultra the s24 i will tell people to buy this nine out of ten times over the iphone 16 pro max if you're looking to have some fun customization usability um you name it can we dive we're delving into these things tonight and i'm glad i'm actually showing you guys so you guys can see for yourselves in front of your eyes you comment down below and tell me if these things that I'm showing on the, on the Samsung is not currently better than the iPhone. It's just, it's just better because me personally, as I said, I have to have an a, a Android phone with me because it just does so much stuff that Apple lacks. And I get people say, oh, yo, Apple, Apple phones are simple, this, that, and third. But yo, Apple should know that you have people like me out here who love these things and i would love to see it be integra integrated yes i love the new camera button camera control button and the uh the, the iphone you know what i mean i love that i love the new thing where you can basically do like an exposure you know what i mean things get brighter darker whatever the case may be i love that i, I really do you know what i mean i love the flat up the display you can put your phone to stand Let's go right here, yeah. But also, Samsung can do it too. Hello, Apple. So we delve into having some fun with the phones. We delve, in, delve into convenience. Now we're gonna jump into connection, our connectivity. And connectivity, 
Samsung Galaxy S24 destroys the iPhone 16 Pro Max in that department. No, I'm going to give you a perfect example. So we're going to turn this off, the data off, the Wi-Fi off, right? And I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi off on this. So now, I'm going to go to settings, go to connection, and I'm going to go to, uh, where is it? Connected devices. Let's go to connections. Mobile hotspot, turn mobile hotspot on. And just like that, you're going to see how fucking quickly Samsung shares the uh, data with the iPhone by giving it some internet, right? Or Wi Fi. Just go to right here where it should pop up. It should say Galaxy Mi Jesus somewhere. But this is another thing that for me that iPhones struggle with too. It's just trying to connect to a fucking device, bro. It's like, why can't I connect to my hotspot? Why do I have to be turning off the Wi-Fi and turning it on to see if it's going to pop up? And it's still not bumble clock popping up while I'm actually trying to show you. So this is a perfect example. Connectivity. Samsung defeats the iPhone 16 Pro Max in connectivity. See, it just pop up. Countless times I'm out here because I do delivery as a job. Right, um, Tab Nation, I have like side hustles and stuff where I do delivery of clients, this, that, and the third. So I literally need my phones every day and I need the best internet coverage. And countless time, time and time and time again, the Samsung Galaxy S24 have to come to the newest phone on the block, 16 Pro Max Rescue. Time after time after time by simply just turning on the hotspot. And the hotspot connects so seamlessly and so fast to our, towards the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Vice versa where if I try to give the hotspot, some hotspot to the Samsung Galaxy S24. Trash. When I mean trash people, trash. It just does not work. Or if I have the Wi-Fi on, or if I have the hotspot on on the, the iPhone, and I'm, I'm gone for like maybe like say five minutes as soon as I come back I have to be reconnecting if I have the ad spot on the Samsung Galaxy on and I come back and I gone to fucking Miami I went to Jamaica for five days and come back I'm still getting that connection from the Samsung Galaxy S24 because it has better bands it naturally has better bands you'll get better internet connection you get better Wi-Fi you get better every fucking thing bro it's just it's just so much better than the iPhone that I just wish the iPhone would just come, bro. It's just lacking. Me, Jesus. But well, anyways, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it moving. Um, so I give you guys a couple of breakdowns of why the Samsung Galaxy S24 destroys the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Anyways, we're going to push this to the side a little bit. One thing I love, and what I mean, me love, me love, 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 love. <laughs> Anyways, what I love about the Samsung Galaxy S24, simplistic, I'm going to call this simplistic convenience. For example, just like this, I literally can turn my phone into landscape mode. People, if you're watching this right now, tell me, like, seriously, comment down below and tell me if you don't like these things that I'm showing you, that Samsung is just killing the iPhones in. You can't do this shit with the iPhone. Hmm? Apple. Apple. Hmm? Hmm? Apple. Me Jesus. Anyways, put that down. Look how simple and uppity this is. The fact that I can, um, you know, yeah, I forgot what you call it. I must say usability. This is so perfect when it comes on to usability. The fact that you can make these adjustments by just, you can sort it, you can go to settings, you can change the, the home screen grid if you want to make it smaller, bigger. You know what I'm saying? Like those simple uppity stuff Samsung just has. But sometimes I do enjoy using the lighter Samsung because it's easier to, to reach up, up, up by the, um, the control center, easy to swipe around, and easy to basically see your notifications, which we're going to get into next, right? We're going to jump into the, the notification next because Samsung Galaxy S24 is killing the iPhone 16 Pro Max in notifications as well. And I'm going to tell you why in a bit. But, you know, the natural usability of the phone, as I said, I have my maps right here still, the map's still running, and um, Samsung has tremendous RAM, 
RAM management so you can have a, a, a app running in the background for fucking hours and come right back to it with no issues so I'm gonna exit off real quick but anyways to the next one notifications so I'm gonna swipe down and I'm gonna show you how organized Samsung is over iPhones when you come out to know the hold on I'm gonna turn off this map so this map keep running take this shit off all right so we're gonna go to notifications so I'm gonna give you a perfect example tabulation pay attention look look how organized these notifications are just look look notice I, I hit the little arrow and it, it doesn't fucking do all that extra shit that Apple normally does with your notification so I want I don't want to click the video I can play turn off watch later you know what I mean I can see the weather it shows me more information and more pristine more clearer blatant information on the weather this is my camera um that's my, <laughs> my wife and my kid um it shows a much bigger screen so i don't have to click directly into it you know what i mean everything is just so organized and so pristine it's just it's just killing the iphones this is why <sighs> i scroll down now look at this bullshit, right YouTube is right here, right? Then you scroll, YouTube again, scroll, YouTube again. What the fuck? You know what I mean, bro? What the fuck is this? And this is the best notification you can set with iPhones by doing the stack. I recommend if you're having an iPhone or if you have an iPhone, you go to notifications and the way you want to receive the notifications, I recommend using the stack feature. I think you got list, stack, or one by one. Go for stack. But even when you go for stack, it's all over the place it's not organized you have all the apps all over i have to be forced pressing down on that bullshit to basically see what i want to see when you can simply just go to samsung i'm gonna give you a side by side compare to show you i'm not bullshitting you guys side by side look how simple that is hmm? look how simplistic and organized and what i love that samsung does too it shows you the most important notifications that you think that you're interested in based on your usage of the app and it just summarize it and it just neatly tuck it up into the notification center that is so convenient and it's so much better than the iphone 16 pro max um it, it's just better it's just better what can i say um what else what else we missing we're gonna jump i think we're, i think that's four right we're gonna jump on to number five because this is my favorite segment, even though I'm probably going to make this segment out of my head. Because, <laughs> remind me if I actually um, talk about all five yet. But, this would be number five, and it be, it would be customization. Customization on the iPhone is okay now. You can move apps here and there, you know what I mean, whatever you wear, one of them move. Yeah, basically, things that um, Android been doing 20 years ago, Apple can do now because Apple likes to do the Apple way as they say. They like to take their time to get shit done. But I digress because Bumble class Samsung is just so fucking dope in doing this simple shit. You know what I mean? Look how simple this is. And it's not affecting nothing on the home screen. Look at this. Anywhere where I want to put the apps. It's so much better in moving around the apps. Let me show you for example. Look at some look at iPhones. I'm gonna put this right here. Look at it. Because shit fuck up already. Already. It already move around my stuff them. Per I'm gonna give you the example what I'm showing you guys. Tabnation. Look. If I wanna put this here, it stays there. I wanna put this here, it stays there. You know what I mean? The app that was there before, it stays where it's supposed to be. If I wanna put... Oh, look at this. Look at this shit. Just look at this shit, bro. It's, Apple is just so all over the place. And as I said before in the start of the video, Hardware, they're uppity in hardware. They're the best when they come out to like just making a beautiful phone. But sometimes my issue with iPhones is the hardware isn't always in line with your software. The, the, the software just never makes up with the hardware for me personally. But in terms of like, you know, the security, the privacy, simplicity of just having a great phone, great camera, takes very good video the best video um camera phone in the entire world i'ma always go for an iphone but i will never ever leave out a samsung i have to have a samsung 
I have to have a and you know what let me rephrase that I have to have an Android Samsung right now is just my choice I am going to I want to test out the uh, Google Pixel one day you got Xiaomi you got Apple you got fucking Hana. You have so much great devices that I want to test out soon. We know because we're just starting off the, the tech channel. We're trying to work our way up first. And then when we can afford those these devices, I'm going to basically test them and review them for you guys as well. I'm going to do a camera test. So comment down below if you guys want to see a camera test between these two. Because I'm not going to lie. Other than the video where iPhones just defeat every single phone in video recording. They are so fucking close when they come out to taking photos. Now, based on your personal preference, some photos might come out a bit more poppy, more in a color from the Samsung. And the photos look a bit more natural than the iPhones. But I'm telling you, if you don't have the iPhone beside the Samsung, you'll be so pleased with what the Samsung produces. But without no further ado, I use both phones as I can see both of them have um, data on it so I use both phones I cannot do without either I can't have a Samsung without a I, I can't have a Samsung without an iPhone and I definitely cannot have an iPhone without a Samsung because as I said the Samsung does so much more stuff that is so much better than the iPhone 16 Pro Max or the iPhones overall and the Samsung ecosystem is not to be a joke with it's so much better and for a for a 800 dollar phone versus the iphone 16 no this is where shit get interesting i would i would not recommend the s24 over a pro max of any era any time but trust and believe i would recommend a s24 something like the s23 s24 and up i would definitely recommend that over a iphone 15 and the iphone 16 one million percent you are not losing that much like if you're an android user are you an iphone user right and you want the latest i would always recommend the pro max in terms of like if you want to compare it to an android but if you're going to use a regular 16 or a 15 iphone and compare with a samsung galaxy that has a super amoled sharp display you have fucking 120 hertz um, refresh rate screen versus 60 hertz bullshit screen on the iPhone 16 and 15 Samsung all day Samsung for my money all day every single day so without further ado that was I think five reasons why the Samsung Galaxy S24 defeats the iPhone 16 Pro Max I'm, I'm creating my thumbnail right now too create my thumbnail right now well, I'm up on the camera with me. <laughs> well, I tell you, just create this thumbnail right, right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What a nice, sexy thumbnail. Matter of fact, hold on. I'm bringing this shit up. By the way, Top Nation, please make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you did enjoy the video, if you think I can be a bit more informative, let me know. Don't please, don't, don't be scared to let me know. I'm very, I'm good with um, open criticisms and constructive criticisms. I want to learn. I want to learn more. So just let me know, comment down below, um, subscribe if you're not, and like up the video and share it. It's a family friendly channel. Don't mind the cursing. Yeah, this is a good thumbnail. This is a good thumbnail tabulation. Me Jesus, yeah, this shit dope. Yeah, man, we're gonna love this.